BTR 753486 Hardwick House Episode 6 Inspector Calls Edit Master Part 1 can see I've been far too soft. You, wipe that smirk off your face, else I'll teach you a lesson. Never By the time I'm finished with you, I wish you'd never been born. What? What did you say? You'll get your big brother up, and he's a black belt in karate. Well, you can tell your big brother from me that he can stick his black belt up his bottom. Yes, up his bottom. What do you think of that, eh? Are you all right? Ah! Oh! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Ah, no, 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 it's OK. I, I, I was just, just practising. For what? The inspector. He's coming to see me again today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's my absolute last chance. Just got to pass. So, I decided to be tough. No, yeah, well, it works for Herbert Fowl. He's always calling them slime and vomit threatening to disembowel them. Yeah, but when he says it, uh, they believe it. Yeah, well, why won't they believe me? Because he means it, and you don't. I do, I do. Oh, yeah, you ever grabbed a kid? Yeah, well, once I... And uh... cleaned the black ball with him? No. Stuck his nose in a light socket when he was late? No, no. Now, listen, Peter, we've got to identify the problem. Now, why did you fail the first time? Oh, sorry. Was it your presentation? No. Was it the work you said? No. I couldn't get them to sit down. Ah. They are very keen on that. Yeah, I know. Look, Dick, how do you get them to uh, do things? Watch. Junior. Come in, sir. Why did you do it? I didn't, sir. I didn't. Oh. Well, who did it then? It was Slasher, sir. I nailed him. Slasher did it. Right. Well, you understand I shall have to report this. Oh, sir. Unless, of course, you can. Uh... Bring me Mr. Wickham's trousers. Great, sir, thanks. I say, I think that's a bit off, isn't it? Nah, you probably get them off a of first year swear to Wickham. Here, sir. What? Which was Mr. Wickham? Headmaster. You know, short, fat. Oh, you mean Baldy? There you go, Peter. Uh, slasher, I'm glad you're listening, cos I might have a little business proposition for you. <sighs> Of course, not a word, as I thought. They'd like to pretend it never happened. What? They saved the tuna march, that's what. What's a tuna? It's a kind of fish. Oh, now the other secret is getting the class's attention. How? Well, let me ask you a question. What are uh, kids really interested in? I don't know. Well, come on, think. What do they do when someone falls downstairs? Oh, they laugh. Exactly. They could sit all day and watch people fall downstairs. Yes. I don't really see what you're getting at. The pain factor, Peter. Pain is the only thing they respond to. You teach geography, right? So let's say you're doing rivers. How would you start? Well, I suppose I'd, uh, I'd start at the source, then move on to the estuaries. No, 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 no. You'd start off by telling them about a boy you knew who was eaten by a crocodile. It ate the boy at the source, swam up an estuary, got harpooned, no, macheted, then they cut it open. And they found the little boy inside, alive. No, dead. They don't like happy endings. Oh. It's, it's no good. You have got to loosen yourself up for this, Inspector Peter. It's not going to work. Look, for instance, like, when you walk in, you've got to act like you're not bothered. Like you're thinking about a joke you just heard, eh? Like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah. Brilliant. 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> Go on. What? You, you, you do it. No, 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 I couldn't. Go on. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Go on. <laughs> hey, yeah. Whoa. Whoa, a bit more swagger. Go on, then. Yeah, go for it. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Now, 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 a bit world weary. Hey? Like Charles Aznavour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. Whoa, whoa. Believe in yourself, Pete. Ah, yeah. Peter, it's for you. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Pete Philpott here. The inspector. He's arrived. Um, excuse me, um, uh, am I all right for the staff room? Certainly scruffy enough for it. Upstairs. Charming. Just help yourself, won't you? Uh, call themselves car mechanics. Should have gone to a zoo and got a monkey to fix it. Come on, come on! I've never sat beside an inspector before. Please, can I have your autograph? Uh, Here, put it on the back of this. That was my thesis. Moose. Just say to my dear friend, Moose, me, with fond regards. This is ridiculous. <laughs> please, please. Moose, you're annoying me. Hey, what's that word, dear? Um, yeah, tractor. Tractor? Oh. And a keys. Moose, will you go and see if there's enough coffee for everybody or something? <laughs> Sorry. Oh. This is my best yet. Not counting Bruce for Sabbath. Sorry, Colin. Gosh, you always get one, don't you? OK. <laughs> What's that say there? Angry vicar raps congregation. Now, shut up. Oh, silly me. I thought it was rapes. To get back to the pupil's needs, Colin, surely the, the inspectorate should be doing something. Well, we are. We are we're always monitoring the situation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Night, Sorry. No, um, you haven't been eating the tea bags again, have you? Uh, look! Monitoring look. the policy of... Uh... Oh, yes. Learn to write. I mean, obviously, no one's happy with children just learning English and maths. Oh, so. no. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard such a load of old rubbish. I'm perfectly happy. In fact, if I had my way, that's all they'd do. That and Latin, of course. And what if the children didn't want to do it? Then I'd thrash them. Uh, Herbert's rather old-fashioned. Nothing old-fashioned about me. Good beating never did anyone any harm. I was beaten twice a day. Didn't stop me from turning out normal, did it? No, no, no. It's those wet liberal inspectors I blame. Sitting on the bums, drinking coffee, telling the rest of us what to do. <laughs> Day's work would kill him. Well, are you tell him, Foley? Yes, God. Tell him what you did with that inspector's report. Straight in the bin. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you obviously believe that education is about thrashing children and um, inspectors? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do them good, too. Aye, 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 aye. Well, I think I've heard quite enough. That's it. Go on. Whoa. Oh, it's a bit strong, isn't it, Herbert? Uh, don't regret a word of it. Well, I think you're very brave. Hmm? I wouldn't talk to an inspector like that. Come on, Peter, hurry up with you any minute. <laughs> yes, baby. I want to go home. For oh, God's sake, pull yourself again. Everything's going to be all right, OK? <laughs> There. You see? You're all going to be very good today, aren't you? Yes, sir. You're not going to forget what I told you earlier? No, sir. Right, Peter, I'll see you later. Peter, believe in yourself.
Can we um, get on with the work, please, sir? What? Yeah. It's his geography, isn't it, sir? Yes. Yes, it is. What page, sir? 47. Sir! You've come to your senses at last. Yes, yes sir. sir. Not a moment too soon. Because it just so happens I had decided to get tough. We was lucky then, sir. Yes, you most certainly were. Now, <coughs> you read, Bates. Ah, oh, sir. I don't like being called by my second name. Oh. Well, that's too bad, isn't it? Bates. OK. The Austrian outback. Australian. The Australian outback is one of the most desolate places in the world. <laughs> you know what they call me, don't you? I'm really not interested, Mr. Fowl. The children's friend. That's what. Not much. Yoo-hoo! Kitty Winkies! Come to me. No, 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 they're not frightened, they're not frightened. Just, uh, just startled. Good day, Mr. Fowl. But, ah, <laughs> Inspector, um, I was just telling the class about a boy I knew who was eaten by a koala bear. <laughs> Seven five thirty four eighty six Hardwick House episode six part two. And what is that supposed to be? Are you stupid, Bates? And stop making that stupid noise. I'm very angry with a lot of you. I can see there's going to have to be extra homework tonight. Yes, That's enough. Yes, uh, 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 uh. I won't tolerate insolence. You should know that by now. Oh, are you leaving so soon, Inspector? Yes, I'm afraid I must. <laughs> right, the next time you call, I have a brighter class. Well, don't be too tough on them. Um, superb control. I'm really most impressed. Oh, well, it's all in the day's work. Right. Amazing story about the koala bear. I mean, vicious brutes, what? <laughs> well, they look so harmless. Anyway, well, it remains for me to say that, uh, well, you've passed. Oh, of course. Uh, well, thank you, Inspector. Goodbye. Goodbye. What are you lot staring at? Just get on with your work. From now on, every lesson's going to be like this. What do you mean? How dare you question me? No, hold on, Philpot. Let's get this clear, shall we? Mr Flashman said you'd give us a quid each if we was good, right? Now, did he mean a quid a day or a quid a lesson? What are you talking about, Bates? Right. Down tools. I am Peter 
Philpot and I'm in total control. Get him. Happiness, happiness, the greatest gift that I possess. I thank the Lord that I have been blessed. The unexpected lesson that I want to see. Not now, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough singing for today, children. Can't be all fun and games. Must you work to do? <laughs> uh, it's about this textbook. I'm not really sure it's suitable for young children. I think Mr Fowler's the bestest teacher we have. He certainly is. Thanks to him, we will have a bright future. No, it's perfectly OK. Now, tell me, children, in what way is Mr Fowle a good teacher? What? Well, you said he was the best teacher. Well, why? I don't know. That's good. I don't know either. Ah, uh, well, um, do you enjoy his lessons? Pardon, sir? Do you enjoy his lessons? The truth, sir. Come on, then, you. Mr. Powell, please. <laughs> Good morning, I'm not to be afraid to tell the truth. <laughs> now, the truth. Do you enjoy Mr. Fowle's lessons? Of course not. Thanks. Good day, Mr. Fowle. Ah, uh, no, I. Uh, so, don't enjoy my lessons? Trevor, give out the spoons. So, uh, what do we say then? Oh, what are you going to say to him? You're the headmaster. Well, I'll simply say, uh, sorry, Peter, you failed. You can't say that. Far too direct. How else can I say it? Well, talk about the weather or something and sort of slip it in. All oh, right. So I just walk up to him and I say, uh, oh, what a scorcher. <laughs> Makes a man happy to be alive, even though he's a total failure and just been thrown out of teaching, right? I know. Get Fowl to tell him. He enjoys that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, that's an idea. Oh, <laughs> hello, uh, Peter. <laughs> it's a grand day, isn't it? Quick, give me some money, please. It's no use, Peter. You can't bribe inspectors. How do you get your job? Hurry up, please, or it'll be too late. <laughs> I shall deny all knowledge of this. How much do you want? 20, 25, anything. 25, no good. Hurry up, please. They're not like teachers, you know. Did you see that flash car? Yeah, that in? blue Morris Minor makes you sick. Must earn a fortune. It burn not be sure. Thanks, sir. Just a minute, I thought that was for the inspector. Oh, no, no, no. Um, he finished with me ages ago. Oh, he's uh, told you already, has he? Yes. Well, I must say, you're taking it very well. Well, why shouldn't I? I've passed! <laughs> I've read about this sort of thing, Headmaster. Shut up, Paul. Now, look, Peter. It's not the end of the world. You're still young. I've passed, honestly. Now, stop it. You just have to face up to it. You've failed. You understand? Ah. Hello, Inspector. Mr. Wickham. So, uh, has he told you the good news? What? That is past. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> good God. I knew it. I told you, Headmaster, didn't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wickham, if that young man doesn't come through with flying colours, why, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> well, it wasn't a difficult decision. Oh, Peter, Peter, Peter. <laughs> I'm so happy I could cry. To think that all those hours of coaching has finally paid off. All those nights we spent up together. What nights? Remember how you'd say, Herbert, we must get some sleep and I'd shake you and go through it all again. No. All been worthwhile, don't we? Everything all right, Peter? No, it isn't. I've got a bit of a bone to pick with you. Uh, Peter, I'm talking to you. Now, as a small token of my gratitude for being such a good pupil, I'd like to present you with this little... Uh, uh, careful. It's not insured yet. Oh, gosh. Thanks, Herbert. Um, <coughs> headmaster, huh? could I have a word with you? Yes. Um, in private. Oh, uh, I'll see what you mean. <laughs> What's that? 
Sorry? That. Oh, this. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Paul, what's this? <laughs> oh, it looks like a, a hole to me, Headmaster. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I got that, but uh, what's it doing there? Well, I, I don't know. It's not my office. Well, you're the deputy head. You should know about these things. Yes, and you're supposed to be the head. So should you. Gentlemen, please, can we sort it out later? I have got something quite serious to talk about. Something bad? Yes, I'm afraid it is. About me? No, not directly. Oh, <laughs> you had me worried for a moment there. <laughs> not good for a man of my age. <laughs> Nothing like a, a midday sherry. <laughs> Headmaster, I suspect that a member of your staff abuses the children. Now listen, Inspector. Herbert Fowle is a damn fine teacher. And anything you've heard to the contrary is completely false. I mean, do you honestly think I'd keep on a teacher who sticks children's noses in light sockets <laughs> and makes them eat soap? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Well, there you are, then. <laughs> now, Inspector, I can categorically state that Herbert Fowle would never <laughs> intentionally hurt anyone. I'm sorry, Headmaster. I didn't mean to challenge your authority. I just felt that I had to say it. Of course, of course. I understand. Uh, thank you for your hospitality. No, well, not at all. Any time. Any time. Herbert Fowle never oh, hurt oh, anyone. Oh, <laughs> oh. We nearly got caught with our trousers down that time. <laughs> What are you doing, boy? Get off! Where... But, but there's nothing in it. Of course there isn't. What do you expect, you clown? Oh, you might have warned me. It was a bit much, Herbert. Oh, don't you start being wet. Who would have bought him a present? Not even the biggest lunatic of the land would have expected him to pass. Oh, speak of the devil. Is it for you? Mm. Peter's passed. Not in the mood for your jokes, Dick. Oh, really? He has. God, you're serious. See what I mean? Oh, well, that's bloody marvellous, isn't it? I've just started moving into your room. Well, I'm sorry, Cynthia. It's a bit late for that now, isn't it? Well, maybe I could let you have my room anyway. Oh, thank you, Peter. You are sweet. I'm so glad you passed. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's a bit like screaming Lord Such becoming Prime Minister. I thought she was. I just do my best, Herbert. Yeah, I know. That's what's so pathetic. Anyway, I certainly have foxed that half-witted school inspector with my present and my moving speech, didn't I? Oh, not that I'm frightened of him or anything. Oh, I never thought that for a moment. Me always speak my mind. But... Got to be careful. You're right now. You've only got to say a wrong word. And you've said quite a few. And they're writing out a report on you. You see, what they can't stand is anyone knowing more than they do, which isn't difficult. <laughs> I say, uh, would you two mind shutting up? This is a staff room. It's not green and common. We can do without all that shrieking. Who's that dreadful man? Foul. His name is Foul. You know, he actually asked me what a board rubble was for. Oh, come on, Herbert. No, 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 no. He, he thought it was a clothes brush. <laughs> what are you up to now, anyway? Oh, I'm just doing a spot of social work around the corner. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, if I had my way, I'd take all the school inspectors and... Social workers and march them all up the M1. Robert McAlpine would soon lick that lot into shape. He's absolutely obnoxious. <laughs> Wouldn't have time to sit on the bums reading The Guardian then. Boring, harder. Pulsing around here. It's the inspector just constantly reviewing the situation. Couldn't review the end of the nose. Why well, have had brighter first years? <laughs> no! I don't agree with you. Inspectors have a vital role to play. Oh, darling. <laughs> Oh, nice. You two know each other? Well, sort of. We're married. Oh, that's wonderful. Isn't it, Herbert? Ah. Let me be the first to congratulate you. Colin, I haven't got much time. Do you fancy a bite to eat? Soup. Cynthia? I'd mm, love to. There's a really great working class pub across the road. Mm. Just a ticket, pint a pint. Well, half anyway. I've got a meeting tonight. We've been talking about inspectors, darling. Really? Yes. 
I've got such a lot to tell you. Yes. Now I can always fill in the gaps. Here, Herbert. British Rail are looking for a ticket collector. Herbert? <laughs> Cynthia, Cynthia, you got to help me. I know you can. Let's all go down the pub. Have a time with the team.